All right. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, hmm. All right. Uh, hello, everybody. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream of today. Hello. How's it going? How are you guys doing today in this Saturday? How's the weekend so far? You guys doing well? Uh, hope everybody is doing well, you know, doing good and all that. Having a good Saturday, a good weekend. Hope you're all well. If you are, that's good. That is good. So. Today. We're going to start a new playthrough with uh, Pokemon Scarlet. Been a long time since I last played this game, so I thought, why not? Why not start a new game? Why not? So here we are. We're going to start a Pokemon Scarlet playthrough today. And you know, yes, get started with it. Not much else to say to that. And yeah, pretty much. Nothing else to say. So yeah. Today we're starting... We are starting Pokemon Scarlet. Hmm, okay. I think everything is all good to go. Yeah. Let's get started here. But yeah, been a while since I last played this game, so I thought, why not? Why not start a new play this game again after... Like... What? Almost two years now? One or two years now? It's been a long time. But, uh, yeah. Here we are. Okay. Well, first we need to create the character. Before we actually get into the game, so hold on. Okay. Yep. That's the name. Let's start. Um, uh, okay. Go with that. Okay, let me leave that at that for now, because I need to also change the face. So, change the look. That way we can see the face better. Uh, high color green. Yep. I think we'll go with this. Yeah. 
maybe that. The brow. I think we'll go with that. All right, the mouth. What's the difference between these two? Hmm. I guess we'll go with that one, sure. No color with that. No. And no freckles. Sure. Now let's get to the actual hair. Now let's get the actual hair. Go with that. There we go. Yeah. We're ready to go. Now we can get started. And rolling complete. Good. That I'm High Academy. Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. It's time for you too. Dive into the world of Pokemon. Director Clavel, head of Naranja Academy. Aldea is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home, of the, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokémon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas, the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon, as we both help one another to live and thrive. Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. And as Pokemon trainers, they have the Pokemon do battle, growing alongside them. While a robust curriculum of coursework helps our students to draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokémon, and your true self. We, the faculty and staff at Naranja Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms.
Okay. That was the introduction. Your bag and hat are hanging here, but it's not time to get ready yet. Your adventure guide. Hey. It's your very own wardrobe, adorned with Pokemon stickers. It's a new Nintendo Switch system. This one's got a bigger screen. It's a map of the Paldea region. This house would be down in the lower part. Today on Ciudad, Advent Ciudad Adventures, we'll see Mesa Gosa, a city that's home to a well-known academy. Oops, better get going. Your mom built these shelves to herself. They are neatly decorated with your belongings. It's a squabber plush made with care using nice soft material. It's your soft fluffy bed. It's got a lovely sun warm scent. Can you interact with this? Yep. This painting is entitled Stretching Woman. It's enchanting. This painting is entitled Windmill Sand Sky. You can almost feel the invigorating breeze. It's one of your mom's houseplants. Careful not to knock it over. Hmm. This cardboard box is sure are heavy for being so small. What could it be inside? That works entitled Patchwork Light. It's got different colors of paper pasted together. This painting is entitled Before Juicing. It just emanates freshness. It's a big plant in a big vase or vase. It's a flowers blooming on there are flowers blooming on it. <clears throat> this painting is entitled Street Midday. It depicts a beautiful town in a different red in a different region. Hi there, Squobit. Good morning. Oh, already in your uniform and already in your uniform and everything. Well, it is your first day at your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. In their words, not mine. Apparently there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Get the door, would you? Do forgive the intrusion. You are Miss Lucky, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. The director? And you came in person to help my daughter with her first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire Academy, including any failures on its part. So here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, no need to trouble yourself. I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You need your bag and your hat as well. 
Okay. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a kappa. This way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Alright. Ready to put on your hat and grab your bag? Yeah. Let's see options. Uh, fast. You learning? Nope. And the box is manual. Let's go with normal camera distance. We can go with this. Oh yeah, and we also got the the stuff from the DLC. Let's get this. You got some apparel. I wonder, can I change this already? Notice it. Guess not. We need to wait a little bit. Oh, just look at you. All ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of your of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh, gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have something else for you. A most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? Alright then, dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs. There they are, the starters. You provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. And Quaxley, the Duckling Pokemon. They're all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. What's this? Hmm, so it turns out they are more interested in you than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision. Then come find me once your mind is made up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll think next week until next we meet. 
What a manly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely. But you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you are going out on your own. The road on phone. Thank you. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map app. The map app by pressing the Y button. <clears throat> it'll help keep. Uh, it'll help keep you from getting lost. But take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go. Have fun. I got already getting distracted. Okay, now we can run. This is Cabo Poco. It's not much, just a little pinch of community, but it's home. The power of science, guy. The power of science is amazing. If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together. Up to four of you at a time. Are you this three strainer? Nemona. Hello there. Not quite. Miss Lucky has yet to make her choice, you see. <clears throat> I do wonder which of them she will choose as her first Pokemon. Alright. <laughs> Time to choose. Buenas! We haven't met, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, Director. Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our Academy's newest student. She will be attending us off today. So you're that kid who moved up in... Moved up... Moved in up the road. There we go. I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Nemona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What is saying, new neighbor? Wanna be friends? Sure. Love the enthusiasm. We're gonna get along just fine. Miss Nemona is president of our student council, and a champion ranked trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Easy now. You two will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later. And get to know one another better, of course. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates? Nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. On that note... Have you decided which of these Pokémon you would like to be your first partner? Well then, for me... It will have to be you. 
Las picatito, a grass type Pokemon. It can use its plant its plant powers to suck up whatever water you throw at it. Would you like to go with all good grass type Pokemon Spigatito here? Yeah. We have to give Spigatito a nickname? No. And there we go. Brigatito. Brigatito seems to have taken quite a liking to you. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. I can't believe you actually chose Brigatito. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You do make such a good combo. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Club Hell? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nemona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on racing at the time. But I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Lucky while she raises her own new partner. Indeed. A rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Miss Lucky here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes. Heck yeah. Someone seems very excited. Since Lucky chose Sprigatito, I'll go for this little one. Nice to meet you, Quaxley. Welcome to the team. Alright then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. You can join me when you're ready. As you may have noticed, Miss Nemona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. Get the Rotom Pond. Okay. Oh, we can now change the, the clothes. So, let's see. Spring uniform. Mm. Autumn uniform. Winter uniform. And the new ones. Hmm. I think I'll go with winter. Cool shoes. Mm, no. The backpack. Forty cab. Yeah, let's go with this. There you go. Let's see, Spigatito. Hmm, neutral. Hardy nature. Oh, okay. I see, but very... Yeah. Yeah, there's no, like... That thing is there. It's all neutral. Okay, I guess. Oh, 
Okay. And start our battle then. Over here. Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. And it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So, you ready to battle me? Yep. I'm ready. Perfecto. I'm so excited. For this battle, I think I'll use... Miss Nimona. I trust you remember that Miss Lucky is holding experience in Pokemon battling. <laughs> Whoops. Good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new bot instead. Come on, let's have a let's have us a fruitful battle. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. You must have been setting up. Smart move. Grass is strong against water. And that is not very effective. Not bad, neighbor. Look at you, winning your first battle ever. You've got even more potential than I thought. You're gonna be a strong trainer for sure. But now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again, just one more battle. We still again her spaghetti to are surely worry already from that last battle. Ah, sorry. I got kinda caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry. Send your Sprigatito to you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, thanks. You two seem to be becoming... Yeah, to be becoming fast friends. Though you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nemona? I'm sure she can learn a great deal from a champion ranked trainer such as... Such as yourself. You bet, sir. Oh, that reminds me. Since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. The Pokedex. The Pokedex will automatically regi register any Pokemon you catch. It's a mass up for Pokemon trainers. It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jacques, actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and no handwritten notes to compile our pocket access. It's quite the age we live in now. Oof. Filling out a pocket by hand? I can't even imagine how much work that would take. <laughs> oh, no, I suppose you can't. Yet no matter how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokémon never does. That is a truly timeless pleasure. And the more Pokémon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you will both work hard toward the goal of completing your own Pokédexes. Now, Miss Nimona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your partner, with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Miss Lucky to the Academy? You would be doing me quite a the favor. Of course, leave it to me. And I leave her in your capable hands. All right, little one. This time you and I were on our way. Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokédex along with all my battling. Oh, right. Speaking of Pokédexes, you've probably never caught a wild Pokémon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the Academy. Come with me. Hmm. 
in the Pokedex. Alright. Uh, before that, though, I remember there's uh, some items around here. That we could take now. Like this Pokeball. I think there was another one on the other side over here. Yep, there it is. No wonder there's a gimme ghoul over there. I cannot reach it though. Alright, let's move on. Oh, hello. Oh, I hear that Amona here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. But you've already managed to make a friend. Yep. And I read about all the wonderful teachers you'll have looking after you at the school. Plus, so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Adding your new friend Nemona, and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Now, you'll be staying in the school dorm, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. And here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. The sandwich from mom. Fish made by sandwiching vegetables, meat, or other ingredients between two pieces of bread. It makes a fantastic meal when out on a picnic. Oh, and maybe you'd better take these too. Potions. You step on that precious little partner of yours. You did get hurt in battle. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try to savor them all. The good times and the hard times too. But if you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Ah, oh, alright then. You do have better be off, I suppose. Take it on the way to school. Your mother's so nice. Oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, vamos! This way. That way. Ooh. Another Pokeball. Yeah, over there. But if I remember, I think there was also an item behind my house here. So let me get that real quick. Oh, there's also an item over there. Another potion. this antidote all right then all right let's go through the catching tutorial all right, this here is Poco Bath. The 
is about the least to adventure for you and me. Out here, things are different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. Mm hmm. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle. But you can speak a Tito for that, right? And if you want to try and catch a Pokemon, you gotta use. a good old Pokeball. I got tons, have a few. Well, thank you. Oh, what luck. Time for some learning by doing. Try paddling this Lachonk. Alrighty then. Pretty sure we can catch it right away. Yeah. Lechonk. It searches for food all day. It possesses a keen sense of smell, but doesn't use it for anything other than foraging. The hog Pokemon. There you go. Hala! That was awesome. You got the very first Pokemon you went for. I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Okay. Anyway, have some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. Thank you. We get the Pokemon and throw the Pokeball. Remember that and you'll be fine. Now go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. Mm-hmm. Let's meet back up at that lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. Oh, I revive. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Okay, I want to catch the you though. Learn bite. Cool. Mommy. It has underdeveloped electric sacs on its cheeks. These sacs can produce electricity only if Pommy rubs them furiously with the pads on its forepaws. I suppose I cross a custom more here to fill up the Pokedex, I guess. And if I remember, you can get rewards for reaching certain milestones. So why not? We can catch some of these. Any poison this Pokemon takes in 
takes in is converted into a black powder and secreted. That's why Scarabag can eat poisonous leaves and roots. The more you know. This Pokemon is normally calm, but once it enters battle, its hormonal balance changes and it becomes aggressive. Okay, Tarantula. The ball of threads wrapped around his body is elastic enough to deflect the sights of Scyther, this Pokemon's natural enemy. Okay. Let me check you. Since I want you to keep, uh, you're probably the one that's going to stay out of all these Pokemon. Natural Cure... Special Attack and Lower Attack. Modest. Hmm... Hmm... Uh, I'm not sure if that is good or bad. I can't remember the, the moveset at the moment. I'm not sure how many moves it learns that are physical. But I see. Because it could be a physical... Uh, <laughs> A special attacker instead. Alright. Perhaps. Hey! You're getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon, okay? Yeah. Let me see. So far you've got... Whoa, what was that? I've never heard that ki kind of cry before. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. And I know your Rotom phone can help keep you safe, but what's your step by these cliffs anyway? Hmm. You get this. Either. This... A super potion. All right. Okay. There we did.
The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up? Well... Guess the sandwich. Well, we have to go to the cave. No. Oh yeah, lucky. Oh, there you are, Amona. There you are. You okay? You're not hurt, right? I'm fine. Thank goodness, I was really worried. You couldn't hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry. No, never mind that. Right now we gotta focus on getting you back up here. You've just gotta find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. Hey, what's that Pokemon in front of you? It looks super strong. Kinda seems like it's waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. That Pokemon might be as strong as mine. Maybe stronger. Nope. Young Goose. His stomach fills most of its torso. It wanders the same path every day, searching for fresh food. Hmm, the Hound Doom. Ooh, the Eaglet. It lives about one yard underground. 
when it feeds on plant roots, it sometimes appears above ground. Heads up, some pretty rotten rowdy. Uh, you're going too fast. You're going a bit fast for me to read everything. Be pulverized a rock. How powerful even it, it is. I wonder what that mood was. Look out, something's coming. Behind you. It's behind you. Yeah, level 40. Nah. No way you could run from this opponent. Yeah, and no way you can beat this. Hey! Up here! Quick! Way to go! For a second, I thought you were both goners. Whoa, what's wrong? Maybe it used up all its power? What is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a cycle sword, but I've never seen one quite like this before. And now it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? I don't know. You can tell either, huh? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that fellow down there was really something. You and this fella look perfectly in sync facing down that hound doom. What? You didn't even tell it what to do. I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Oh good, looks like it perked up a little. Do you think this fella was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? Oh man, oh man, oh man. The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become his trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. I 
And here. This uh, will let you teach your Pokemon a move to help it battle stronger opponents. Lift. Think before you use it though. DMs can only be used once. You've both been through enough for a minute. I think we better take a breather. Let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. Uh, yeah, okay. Why that little? What are you doing out here? I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvan? You're enrolled in the Humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? Doesn't matter who my mom is. Okay. Oh, uh, hello, Mona. Hello, welcome. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here. And what is with this form it's in? It saved me from a tight spot. See, we heard this strange cry, and we tried to investigate. Lucky fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved her, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kinda... slumpy afterward. But you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be. But it can't fight while it's like this. The form Coridon takes in battle. That's its true form. Coridon? Is that his Pokemon's name? How do you know it? You can't go in the lab. It's locked. I don't remember, remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too, do you? Coridon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you're up to ordering Coridon around? And how about I test your worthiness? Sure. Huh. Well, look at you. But the little go-getter. I've been feeling all, uh, all out of sorts, so I'm gonna use this battle to blast these tall drums away. Okay, Arvan. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth, and I want it gone. Oh, it flinched. Nice. Another flinch? No. <laughs> but it's okay. There you go. Seems you know a thing or two about battle. You could say that. Wow, that was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just got. But if you really think you can take Coridon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball the Brute's been kept in. A Pokeball that can hold a mysterious Pokemon known as Coridon. A boy named Narvin gave it to you. So why do you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. What? Oh yeah, can you not hear me or something? Eh, uh, 
he's just ignoring you. Be that way. What a weirdo. But that Arabin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time, he and I are battling. I'm gonna ring some answers out of him. But, oh, right. We gotta climb the lighthouse. Then we to show you the view of our school. Okay, but is there anything behind the lighthouse? Yes, it is. Look, that's Mesagosa. And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. It's gonna be so great having you in the same class. Looking forward to it. Right? I can't wait to get back. We're gonna get to learn so much. And battle so, so, so much. Isn't it awesome what you can see from up here? Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff as far as the eye can see. And you know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokémon. Consider this my me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. But anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters. That's right on the way. Vamos, come on. All right, let's move. You want to battle? Let's put Palma in the front. You talk to a Pokemon trainer like me, it means we're gonna battle. There you go. Learn quick attack. Ah, 
Okay. Give me cool coin. I to get are we getting those? Do we ever want to evolve one of the gimme goals that we can find and catch? All right, whooper. Let's catch you. Yeah. After losing a territorial struggle, Wooper began living on land. The Pokémon changed over time, developing a poisonous film to protect his body. And let's put you on the party. fight over here which I also want to catch won't be really on the team for long but you know This Pokemon is smooth and moist to the touch. Yeast in Fido's breath induces fermentation in the Pokemon's vicinity. Now we can claim a reward. Yep. Stardust. Alright, now we battle this guy. This kid. Crit. Nice. Good. Got a back lane stands for. Sure. All right. Let's heal up at the Pokemon Center. We take a break. All right. Over here. This here is a Pokemon Center. You can come here to take care of a lot of things related related to your Pokemon. But I leave the explanations to the pros here. Happy to be of service and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. 
Here on my left is the Pokemon counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. We accept payment both in cash and in LP, league points that is. One LP is worth one Poké Dollar. And this to my right is the Technical Machine. The Technical Machine Machine. TM Machine for short. It's your ticket to making TMs, which you can use to teach moves to your Pokémon. You need to pay in LP and supply the machine with materials that Pokémon drop. LP comes in handy both at these machines and at stores. I got a lot here. Have some. Sure. Oh yeah, and some of these too. And at the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers to find yourself some adventuring companions. You can visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need any help. We will. Thanks. Remember, had a rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for quizzes at school. But mnemonics help out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure, but it helps you remember that you remember you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. That way you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items lying around or go battle on its own or other stuff like that. Yep. Okay. Register my birthday. Birth month. And a birthday. That's right. So yeah, there you go. Let's leave it here for a moment and take a break, because I need to get some food. So... There we go. Time for a break. As usual, I'm going to go, eat something, and I'll be back. Alright? Okay, so yeah. I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
all right. I'm back. I am back. <clears throat> Break's over. The break is over. Let's put you in the lead. I have eaten, I have stretched, and I am back. So, let's continue. Okay, experience candy, sure. <clears throat> Sword power. You've got two. <laughs> I have one of a sword. Doesn't work. Pound door. Uh, yeah, we gotta say. There we go. Uh, by the way, what are your stats? Okay. Low special attack, high special defense, careful nature. Hmm. I see. Ah, oh, nerpo. Okay. <clears throat> we'll take. Heading to school.
Ooh, a crit. Don't think it was needed, but sure. Okay. Oh. Judo. I would like you on a team. Though usually a mellow Pokemon, it will sink its sharp poison soap front teeth into any that anger it, causing paralysis in the object of its ire. Alright. Pocket. Okay, high special attack, low defense. I'm pretty sure it's more of a physical attacker, but okay. You're all sad. Okay then. Okay, moving on. Okay. 
Yeah, we are fine. Okay then. Mm, get this thing. Either. I think you also... Yeah, another battle. Uh, let's put... Pommy. Sure. Let's go with Pommy here. And the Mesa, Mesa goes out to make some deliveries. Well then, that was a smart choice then. Leading with Pommy. Well, let's get uh, let's heal up. Yep, heal up. You defeat four trainers in area one of the sub province. It's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far, you defeated seven trainers. Okay. Thunder wave. Alright. Uh, if I remember, there's another Nemona battle here. Um, hmm. I think we'll leave this Brigatita because if I remember, it shows us the Terra battles. It shows us uh, the the terrestrial thing mechanic, and if I remember, I think that's with a pommy. So I think we're going to lead with Spigatito first. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? But your Pokemon are getting stronger. No, hold on. Uh, 
Okay. It was a door. Uh, anyway. How about you show me how much you'll have learned in a battle? Sure thing. Alright, nothing like having a friend around. Come on, let's have us a fruitful battle. You seem like you're getting better at this, so I'm coming at you with two Pokemon this time. Oh, I'm uh, two levels higher. Okay. This should be fine. You really work with your time matchups. I can tell how badly you want to win. Mm hmm. Then bite. She wants to learn fury swipes. Uh nah. Call me. We switch Yeah, the Wooper. We go with the Wooper. Wow, doing even better than I expected. You're legit. Why don't you use a blast? I think I better pull out my ace in the hole. Yep. Although you cannot use electric moves here because it won't work on me. Crystallizing is always a solid strategy. It gives moves of the Pokemon Stereotype more power. Yep. It doesn't work. Uh... Hello. Hello, Melo. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. It still doesn't work. Again, it doesn't work. That's three times in a row. Poison tail. Nice. Man, I can't believe how fast you're improving. Amazing. Look at look at you. Taking on that terrestrialized opponent and winning, no problem. Come to think of it. You can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forget how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revised as thanks. Now, as I go so sweating just past this gate, at last, the city where our school is. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city. So I'm gonna take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon.
All right, here I am. We finally made it, huh? This is Mesagosa, the biggest city in Paldea. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folk come here to learn about advance, advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty food and fixings. What do you want to see first? Hair salon, tasty food. Huh, I didn't have you peg for a big eater. But that's smart. You can battle well with a growling tummy, right? Oh, and speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to dress that as your Pokemon too. There's a few things that could I get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you gotta see the liver Delibird presents. It's a handy items for Pokemon to hold. Okay. Once you've seen your field, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready. Heads up to the school are no joke. Later then. Get pumped for some drastalizing. Ooh, there's an item over there. Let's see. If I remember... Yeah, here it is. Marathon cases. <clears throat> I want to buy... A phone case. Like this one. Yeah. Battle items though. Gave to Pokemon. There you go. Okay. There we go. Right, and we're already healed up. So... Let's put... Let's put Pommy. Why not? Let's have Pommy in the front for now. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright without some friends like us? Not really. Look, we got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not. 
Help her out. Huh? You want Dean on this too? And you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next. We nearly got this one in the bag. For Team Star Kid, you burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? Yeah. Ah, another ignorant little nobody. Here I'm finally part of Team Star and still I get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey, we can just let something like this slide. There are four teams on the line, so we got no real choice but to battle, yeah? That's true. You keep watching that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. No, you're faster. How come I'm the one seeing stars? Ugh, wasn't nobody like you so good at battling anyway. That's just not right. No way, she beat you? Does that mean I've gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up at higher up Team Star's ranks? Pero bueno, what do you think you're doing? Ah, is that student council dweeb? He's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me. That's really not what happened. Wait, they pick a fight with you? Wow, I read that way, way wrong, sorry. <clears throat> I get it now. You two have got teams that are written all over, your, over you for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi. We weren't not doing that. Well, that explains it. I said of the student council stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift to you. The Terra Orb. With this Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokémon during battle. Let's see... After it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Pommy will be an electric type. Normally, you gotta take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs. But I put in a good word for you. Now, time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I just explain it to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice whirling on us with our Terra Pokémon, is that it? Got a problem? You wanna battle me instead? Eh, never mind. I'll take my chances with the Neo Kid. And take your places and battle. Okay. Here we go. Yangus. Well, I might as well see it. Oh, I'm got the para. Paralyzed. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Here 
Your Pokemon burned so bright. There we go. Nice! You pull up to Rastalize in no problem. Most of your Pokemon stereotype will hit even harder when it's Rastalize, you know? Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose stereotype is totally different from its usual type. A difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your Terra over the Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hasta la vista! Me too. Hasta la vista! And off they go. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students li that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. Um, excuse me. I, uh, I just... Well, thanks. So, yeah. See you around. Ah, uh, look at you. Already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee back, though. Love that fluff. Anyway. It's like the towel's tied down, so we'd better book it up to school. They're ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. But yeah, that is a lot of stairs. To be honest. Okay then, let's get to school. Here we are. Welcome to Naranja Academy. This is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those halls off to the sides lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let Lugos and Battle in here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. How did you find your first school, Commute? We had a blast. I imagine Mr. Mona's high spirits help with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion-ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those team star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? It was on the stairs from the front gates. They were hustling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Lucky Flex on him and ran him off. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student. But you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at your uh, Adore Academy. And Miss Nimona, do remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles. Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. And, Miss Nimona? If you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jack about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such going-ons. You got it, sir. Ah, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Uh, hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in Class 1A. Come on, I'll show you the way. Good morning, Mr. Jack. Hello, hello, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Ooh, ooh, me. I want to hear the news. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. I wonder what they'll be like. Alright, you can come on in.
Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Sure, I'm lucky. You hear that? You seem super friendly and fun. Looks like looks like everyone is eager to get to know you. Alright then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Me, me. Can I ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? I like everything about Pokemon. Really? Awesome. I'm totally the same. Does anyone else have a question for the new classmate? Me. I have a question. You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Want to complete the Pokedex? Want to be a strong trainer? I don't actually know. Well, I want to be a strong trainer. You will be. Oh, I just know it. You and me. We're going to get so strong battling together. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself. I'm Mr. Jack. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat. Take on row from the front. Alright, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Jack. Okay. Get to know the academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. Oh, we have more... We have classes. Well then, Arben. Hello. Oh hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? From the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all body. But am I like a steel trap, hey? No need to tell me your name. Lucky, right? The whole school seems to be talking about you. A new kid who showed up with the president of the, guest of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you. Or a new celebrity. You could've helped me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. What's this dream first? <laughs> Got your interest, have I? You want to hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might come as a surprise, but the fact is, I'm all about the picnic life. The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, they are some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it hits, eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica, based on what I read. Just taking a little lake of them once they bean powder will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, it'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. Only found here in Paldea, and rare to put. This book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's gonna be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs. So see, Titans are... well, I think they've gotta be things like this. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wonder if these huge ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by a chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Stormfun. The difference shows as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart, as to its great tusks. I really want to get those hairs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. I don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me, lend me a hand, either. I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to the student council, girl. But here you what's up. You got to help me out with this. You'll be perfect. Sure. No, wait. I don't need an answer yet. I just registered the places where it seems there might be titans in your map up for you. Okay. 
The Path of Legends. There is two a bit, and we can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. Stardust. Sure. Give that just some serious thought, please. Okay. I already said yes, though, so... This is Lucky, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. I'm sorry, who are you? My name is Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you who I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, you know about Team Star, right? Yeah. Great. I appreciate you being upfront here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. I come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Okay. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Okay then. Till then I'll leave you to it. Bye. Ah. Hello. Please try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Of course, sir. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go then, young lady. Okay. Team star, you say? You know what, let's take these classes. Since we're here. Call me tardy. Hello, hello. My name is Jack, and I'll be your Pokemon biology teacher. In my class, we'll all learn about the various quirks of our beloved Pokemon together. I hope you'll come to love Pokemon even more from the things you learn here. In today's class, I'll teach you a great way to get to know Pokemon in more depth. If you'd like to become better friends with your Pokemon, you can let them come out of the other Pokeball and walk along with you. Sounds great, huh? You can use the Seer button to throw a Pokeball and let out the Pokemon inside. Nothing cuter than watching your Pokemon run around underfoot, if you ask me. Once you let your Pokemon out, try speaking to them. They should respond in some way. It's a great way to get to know them better. However, letting your Pokemon out of his ball isn't such a great idea in some locations. Can anyone tell me where it is that you shouldn't have your Pokemon walk along with you? Inside buildings. That's right. Great job. I so see you did your homework. The correct answer is that we should not walk with our Pokemon indoors. How about that? Some Pokemon might damage walls, desks, and other things walking around inside buildings. So it's not allowed regardless of the species. Therefore, please only let your Pokemon out of their Pokeballs while outdoors, okay everyone? I think I see them out and about in classrooms from time to time, but still. Anyway, you may become even closer friends with your Pokemon Pals, Pokemon pals by walking together. Oh, I almost forgot. Keep in mind that you can only walk together with your lead Pokemon. Remember, use the Seer button to throw a ball and let out the Pokemon inside. You also want to remember that throwing a ball at a wild Pokemon will start a battle. It looks like that's all the time we have for today. See y'all next class. Oh, okay. The second biology class.
Hello, hello. I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. Uh, did you all try using the CR button to let your Pokemon out as I told you in your class class? Walking along with your Pokemon lets you see how unique and cute they all are. I'd also highly recommend picnics for when you want to spend some quality time together with the Pokemon in your party. You can get them all around the table to make sandwiches and play. It's really a lot of fun. If you want to learn more about making food, Mr. Saguaro's class is the best place to go. Now, sometimes while you're enjoying a picnic with your Pokemon, you may find something very, very important in the basket next to your table. It's very important something is what Pokemon are born from. Let's all say it together. X. You all got it right. The very important something I'm talking about is a Pokemon egg. It's not clear where these eggs come from, but they're probably placed in the basket rather stealthily by the Pokemon at the picnic. Walking around with an egg will help warm it, which allows it to hatch. Eggs won't warm up by sitting in boxes, though. You'll need to have them in your party. And here's one more super important thing I'd like you to remember about eggs. Pokemon entrust us with their eggs because they believe in us. I sure, would be I sure would be happy to see you all being responsible parents for your little Pokemon eggs. Whoops, my most important point came right as the bell rang. We'll see you all next time, I guess. Alright, math. With Miss Time. Hello everyone, nice to meet you. My name's Time and I will be your math teacher. Sorry to put you all on the spot at the start of class, but let me ask you a quick question. Do you enjoy numbers, arithmetic and the like? Yeah, sort of. Uh... Oh my. <laughs> Thank you for your honest responses. Some of you may like numbers and some may not. I think that makes a wonderful mix. But no matter your opinion on math, I hope you find yourselves enjoying our lessons together. I'll do my best to find a good way to match up your interests with all types of math lessons. Speaking of which, are you all caught up on your, studi on your studies of Pokemon type matchups? For example, Grass is strong against water, and water is strong against fire, correct? You seem to be good with Pokemon, so let me ask you this. Uh, if the Moon Water Gun hits a fire-type Pokemon, what becomes of the most damage? It's doubled. That's right, and you could count on you for this question. Using moves of a type that your opponent is weak to is a super effective tactic. It multiplies the damage of those moves by two. On the other hand, using moves of a type that your opponent is resistant to isn't a very effective. It divides the damage of your moves by two. <laughs> I don't mean to encroach on Miss Dendra's battle studies territory, of course, but I thought it best to use a lively topic as an example. That can make math fun, even for those of you who don't much like the subject, don't you think? Oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next class. I hope you're looking forward to it, too. Okay. Another math class. Don't be tardy. Let's have a fun class today. Tell me, do you all enjoy shopping? Buying tasty bread or choosing new clothes? Even just window shopping is so much fun. In today's class, I like to use shopping, one of my own favorite hobbies, mind you, to teach you all about math. I am sure everyone here has visited a Pokemon at least once. They sell all sorts of Pokemon items. Pokeballs are one of the many useful items you can find there. They cost 200 poke dollar, poke dollars each. Now then, I'd like you all to do some thinking with me here. One Pokeball is 200. If you had 2000 and bought as many Pokeballs as you could afford, how many would you receive? Trick question is actually 11. That's correct. Well done. With 2000 Poke Dollars, you can afford to purchase a maximum of 10 Pokeballs. However, 
If you purchase 10 or more of any one type of Pokeball, you will also receive one Premier Ball, a special White Ball, as a bonus. So the correct answer is, in fact, 11. That's right. It sure is nice to get a little bonus like that on a shopping trip, isn't it? Oh my, said the bell. I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. Looking forward to seeing you all in the next class. Hope you're looking forward to it. Okay. <clears throat> and next. Battle studies. With Miss Dendra. Hello to your battle instructor, the one, the only, the hot-blooded Dendra. Also, it's a karate thing. By the way, look it up. My age, 25. My hobby, working out. My type, well... <clears throat> Strong and muscular fighting types, of course. That's all for my, int my introduction. As for my class, this is where you all get to learn the nitty-gritty of Pokemon battling. We'll start with the basics so that no trainer gets left in the dust. Even if you're new to this stuff, have no fear. Leave it to me and my muscles and you'll be pros in no time. Let's set our fighting spirits ablaze together. Pokemon have all kinds of attacks moves at their disposal, and each move has certain qualities that you'll want to remember. I'm talking about the power, type, and category of these moves. Higher power means more damage, because I leave your opponent is weak to that move's type. Heads up, new kid. Question coming your way. There are two categories that attack moves can fall under. Now what they are. Physical moves and special moves. Awesome! You're just as sharp as I expected, new kid. Looks like you have a handle on the basics. Anyway, attack moves are split into two categories. Physical and special. Physical moves do more damage the higher the Pokemon's attack stat is. And special moves do more damage the higher the Pokemon's special attack stat is. On the other side of things, Pokemon getting hit by these moves can take less damage by having a high defense or special defense stat respectively. In conclusion, Pokemon that are good with physical moves should raise their attack stat, and Pokemon that are good with special moves should raise their special attack stat. And to raise both of these stats equally will just make it hard for the Pokemon to shine in battle. Make your strong points stronger, I always say. That goes for both people and Pokemon. Oh man. I was about to suggest we do some hands on practice to really drive the point home, but I guess we're out of time. We'll generally meet for my class here in the schoolyard, even for book learning. I think like a little fresh air to make studying more fun, am I right? Our class is over for now. Take care, you little rascals. Okay. <clears throat> And this should be the last one for now. Another day, another round of battle study. Also, let's get right to it. Is everyone excited about the treasure hunt? It's always a great adventure. You get to take on gyms, go to new places, and run all over the place with your partner Pokemon. And while you're running around out there, I'll bet you'll come across some big, shining crystals fairly often as well. These crystals are actually collections of terrestrial energy that seep tapped out of the ground. You can check out these crystals to battle Terra Pokemon with your friends or their trainers in a group of four. We call those battles Terra Raid Battles. The Terra Pokemon you'll face off against in Terra Raid Battles are crazy tough. They sometimes act differently than regular Pokemon, so you'll need to be on your guard. Luckily, trainers can also use a special action in Terra Raid battles. It's called cheering. And there are three different triggers you can use. The first here is go all out. It boosts the attack and special attack of all allied Pokemon. The second is hand tough. This one boosts the defense and special defense of all allied Pokemon. And the third? Well, let's see if you can guess. This year's Restore HP for all allied Pokemon. 
What do you think it is? Heal up. That's right. Maybe I should make you the battle teacher, huh, new kid? The third battle tier is heal up. It's a real powerhouse with the ability to both restore HP and cure status conditions. You can cheer up to three times during a single Terra Raid battle. Also, cheering uses up a turning battle, so you won't be able to have your Pokémon use any other moves when you cheer. In conclusion, try everything at your disposal. If nothing seems to be working, try cheering on your allies. Providing support for your team can sometimes open up a new realm of possibilities. Oh man. I was just about to suggest we do some hands on practice to really drive the point home. Hit the controller there. Sorry. Uh, the point home. But I guess we're out of time. Class is over for now. Take care, you little rascals. Okay, and that's all the classes for now. Okay, let's meet up with Nimona. Now that we're done with the classes. Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing. You can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, hey. Who was that? Take your interest, huh? That lady is... Well, they call her... They call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically... She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I wanna be. Or that any Pokemon trainer would wanna be, really. Oh, which reminds me. Remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Sure. Oh wow, hang on though. I got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here it goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on 8 Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon's trainer stream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. Hm. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know? Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started no long after the beginning of the school year. It's great. You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found. Maybe? I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the team's location in your map app in case you decide to go for it. And there they are. Victory Road. Give it some thought. Oh, the director's office. Once again, Miss Lucky to the director's office, please. Well then, let's go.
you wanted to see me? Thank you for coming. Have you been enjoying your time here at Naranja Academy? Yeah. That is more wa most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Ah, no. I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. <clears throat> Hello, it is nice to meet you. My name is Professor Sara. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Crater of Paldea, at a site known as Area Zero. Mm -hmm. The professor is in fact a, gra a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Lucky student ID number 805C393. You're the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Coridon, is that correct? Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Ah, not that I. I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. With what? Oh, how good to see that you're well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Coridon was once in my care, you see. His Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arben. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would, uh, would ask of you. Would you continue looking after Coridon on my, on my behalf? Yeah, of course. I do appreciate your agreement. Coridon has been badly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take an up form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information. If you would please get out of your form. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then. Would this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Sara, don't tell me you actually did it. Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we were we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Coridon. Hello? Excuse me. Oh, you're still here. No, oh, getting called into the director's office. Why'd you land in that much trouble already? Nah, Kaden. I knew it wasn't like that. Mr. Jack wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school domes. Your very own private room. Let's go check it out. Ta -ta -ta -chang. From today on, this is your room. Actually, it's, a new, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed? Looks comfy. And you must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening your very first day, huh? A quick rest and a bed is all 
Ora bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you rest it up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. Alright, now we go. The days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Naranja Academy. And then at last, the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard, where I will explain in more detail. It's time! I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Alright. To the schoolyard. Excellent. It seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explain your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paldea's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokémon that live here. And get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will, what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin. Onward! Time for the great outdoors. Come on, Cyclosar, we're riding out. Take care, everyone, and remember, the great creator of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering is it is a entering it is a violation of school rules. What are you waiting for? Let's go. The treasure hunt is finally starting. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, fair question. This is your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. The treasure hunt is a huge part of the Naranja Academy school year. The point isn't to get all, uh, us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily. 
We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Valdea's got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms, you could help out people in need, you could hunt for a real capital D treasure if you wanted even. The stuff we'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You or me for sure gotta battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's app... Phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? You could try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That'd get you on your way easy. Tch. How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage. Arben? Insider advantage? Jeez, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was just that she take out the gyms. It's up to Lucky whether she goes. Lucky's gonna have her hands full searching at the Titan Pokemon with me. She doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and her are gonna be too busy visiting the, le the lairs of Titans and having their Herba Mystica. And Sadio? Don't go filling her head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite her along. You still have to lucky whether she goes, right? <laughs> okay. Your phone's ringing. Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember, wh remember what I told you before. Team Star is made up of five individuals' gods. What? And each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star Grants might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out, from a distance. And heads up that the bosses each specializes in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews, and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base's locations to your phone for you. Powerful Street. Well, we are supposed to do all three paths anyway. But yeah, we'll do it in the supposed order that we're supposed to go. Good luck with those bosses. I hooked you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait one second. Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star. Those punks are a serious hazard. They're not like his problem. That's right. Because he's got more important things to do. Like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Lucky to decide whether she goes or not. Wasn't that what you said, Nimona? And Arben? <laughs> How do you know my... I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off. Bye. What was that all about? I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. You got a big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here. I'll send you a pic of what the gym builders look like. Oh, okay. Oh, and... I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what you do. Go where you want, and do what it is you really want to do the most. A treasure of our very own. For me, that's got to be my... Uh, my big dream of tracking down the Arab Mystica, that is. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. Ah, <sighs> what'd you come out for? Oh my gosh, did he just come out because you said sandwich? <laughs> well, you're not getting one. It seems like he wants to start moving. Is he telling you to get on?
Whoa, I transformed. Now it really looks like some kind of weird cyclosaur. Long as you got Coride on, you can go pretty much anywhere. All this your cloister. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, you're going to search for those Titan Pokemon and say set out from the East Gate. As a slug is actually headed to take on some gyms, I'd say go for the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out east. Out east. Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Let's up soon, little buddy. I'll head to the gym. See you around. Well then. The treasure hunt has finally begun. The special event is held by the academy to encourage students to set out on their own and learn for themselves. You are free to decide where you want to go as you search for a treasure all your own. Oh, hello, hello. This is Jack. Hi, Mr. Jack. Sorry to bother you while you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It's a special collaboration between our academy and another school. And would you believe it? Your name was one of those ones... Was one of the ones chosen to attend. You get to study and experience the great outdoors of the East, in the land of Kitakami. It's a long trip to get to this year's destination, so we can send too many students this time. You really are lucky one. Getting selected as one of the participants. Come to the school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear all the details. Well, of course, you don't have to take part. But this kind of chance is unlikely to come again, so you should really give it a shot if you're interested. Hope to see you soon. Right. We can do the DLC right away if we want to. But, uh, DLC will be after we finish the main story. Where are I going to leave? The, the DLC for... For much, much later. But for now, I think we're going to leave it here. Now that we are pretty much ready to go to, to go whatever we want at this point. I think this would be a good point to leave it. Yeah. So that is all for today. Thank you everybody for being here. Hope you enjoyed the stream of today. Not bad. We pretty much went through the whole tutorial prologue part and now we just can go whatever we want uh, i'm pretty sure we'll go with the order by by the levels pretty sure which i don't remember exactly but i do know that our first destination should be the back type gym leader i do remember that anything uh, other than that i don't remember much but yeah <clears throat> we'll leave it for next time okay yeah so that is all Thank you everybody for being here. Hope you enjoyed the stream of today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for King of Hearts. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow we are going to like focus on exploring around and try to get some try to level up and get a little bit stronger. To prepare ourselves better for the for the whole Bastion boss battle. That we kinda got stuck a bit yesterday. So we're going to just focus on Getting stronger tomorrow, alright? That is for tomorrow. Okay. That is all. See you tomorrow then. Bye bye.